Why should I learn the command line in Linux? Great question and one that I hope to address in today's video. Let's get started. I've got a number of resources here and I will provide links to these. So uh, don't feel like you have to gather that information right out of the top. You can get that later. So the first one here is linuxcommand.org, a website. And it goes into some uh, or a very good description on why you might want to learn the command line. And I'm not going to read the information here to you per se, uh, but the, the story that's told here is about an engineer spending uh, a good part of the day writing a program to do a task that uh, with the, from the Linux command line you could do with one, uh, one short statement. So, um, and, and I do like the one element here that I have highlighted. Graphical user interfaces are helpful for many tasks, but they are not good at all tasks. So there are some things that you can do uh, from the graphical interface, uh, and there are some things that you can't. So I'm going to just hit on a few different elements here. Uh, the first one is power. So, you know, like I mentioned there from this example, there are just some things that you can't do from a graphical user interface. So learning the command line allows you to do more. It allows you to do it more efficiently, such as this example. Uh, there are just a lot of easier ways of doing things once you learn some of the different techniques of the command line. Uh, as, as far as assistance, when you are looking for something, when you're trying to figure out how to do something on your computer, often, especially when you start getting more and more into programming, Often that information is provided uh, is in a very concise manner uh, with one or two commands in the command line. So being comfortable with that and, and knowing those elements is very important for that from that perspective. Uh, another very good reason to uh, learn and learn about the command line and be more comfortable with it is information. Uh, the, the tools that are available from the command line allow you to see what your computer is doing. Uh, another good reason for learning the command line is remote activities. So you can do a lot of things uh, when you're not at a computer, when you are somewhere could be you know, miles or hundreds of miles or thousands of miles away. So it, it allows you that capability as well. So let's go to the next resource that I have up here. <clears throat> and this one is uh, the flossmanuals.net, uh, another wonderful resource, uh, part of the GNU Linux project. And let's go down here a little bit. And here's another example. And again, I'm not going to take you too much through the example that's here, but it shows, excuse me, resizing uh, pictures. Uh, so being able to do that in one step in a command line versus eight steps using an image editor. Now, you may think, well, that's not a, a huge advantage, but what if you have, like their example, what if you have uh, hundreds or thousands, you know, 30, 300, or 3,000 images that you need to do uh, something with or perform a certain operation on? So, and let's look at some of the other things that are, are touted here as far as their uh, laundry list of advantages. Flexibility, reliability, speed, experience, and fun. So, uh, and I'm not going to read all those to you, just uh, want to give you some, some information. Here's another great resource. Uh, this is ryanstutorials.net, and he's got a few things on here. W most people's first perception is that the, co the command line can be daunting, complex, and scary. So, something that we're uncomfortable with at first, but it does help us to build things that suit our needs. Uh, I like some of the, the information here and, and the way that uh, this website covers it, that basically the command line gives you a set of building blocks, and you can put them together in many different ways. So it, it allows you that flexibility and that power, if you will. So, and, and here's another item I have highlighted. Think of the command line as another tool you can add to your belt. As always, pick the best tool for the job. So let's go on to another resource here. Learn Python the hard, the hard way. Uh, and <laughs> I, I like the way that this, uh, uh, this website uh, encourages, encourages you to just shut up and shell. Dive into it and start typing because you're not going to learn it just by reading. You're going to have to dive in and start typing. Uh, open up uh, 
a uh, a terminal and start uh, start typing some commands and see what they do. Um, as this author says, you're not going to destroy your computer. Um, you know, and if you want to if you want to learn to code, then you must learn this. So if you want to learn computer programming, uh, it's just a a tool you're going to need to to have in your toolbox. Let's go to the next resource here, the LinuxDevCenter.com, and just a number of good resources here as well. But in in their words, um, one characteristic of a user-friendly system uh, is that it does what the user wants. In other words, the most user-friendly system isn't necessarily the simplest one. So this is an important point: is that you know learning anything new, such as programming, it's an investment in time. It takes a while to learn, uh, but it might be. Uh, you know, the, the simplest one to learn is not necessarily the best one for the long term. So, and they give a great example here of if you've never seen a, a BMW or whatever your favorite car is, uh, then you might think that, that a horse is the best way to get, you know, get to where you're going because it's easy to use. It's simple to maintain. Uh, and you might see some nice scenery uh, as you go to your destination. So why the heck would you want something as complicated as as an automobile or a BMW. Uh, well, obviously, there are a number of reasons, and once you start using it, you you realize those benefits a bit more. So the command line is is similar to that. It it just opens up so many doors for you. Now let's go to the the next resource that I have here, lifehacker.com, and they cover a number of different things, uh, not just programming. Uh, but let's go into the uh, their their thoughts. Uh, since you can directly control the computer by typing, many tasks can be performed more quickly, and some tasks can be automated with special commands that loop through and perform the same action on many files, saving you potentially loads of time in the process. So that is another uh, big reason uh, to to learn the command line efficiency. Uh, again, there are just many different tools and little building blocks, and from that you can do wonderful things. So with that, keep on learning and have a great day.